Now it's safe to say there is one club in the bag that I find more difficult to use than basically any other. And the club featured in today's video is going to change all that and is one of the biggest shocks since I started testing golf clubs. And I urge all of you to give this one a go. That shot I hit was with a three wood and although I claim that most three woods become a dust collector in most average golfers bags, then this one could be just a little bit different and might be a viable option for many. Right, that left us with uh, a wedge into this green. I'm out at Quinta Val in uh, Portugal on the Algarve, we're with Glencore Golf. The sun is shining on this course so far has been superb. This is hole 11. Oh, what a nice clip that was. I played it too long now. Ah, we're at the back end of the green. Anyway, we'll take that one onto another three wood shot. Now, before we go any further, I just want to do a little bit of a survey in that comment section and please let me know how many of you have got a three wood in the bag right now or not because this three wood is very different from anything that I have experienced before and that tends to become a bit of a theme with this brand and I'll explain a little bit more about what makes it so different and why I'm super impressed with it from a brand that I keep getting super impressed with stay out that bunker now there are a number of things that are different about this three wood. The first thing is the size of the head. It's a 180 cc profile, which is on the larger side of what we see nowadays in terms of uh, three woods. But more than that, it's the weight of the shaft again. Yes, this is from Zexio and I've got a 39 gram three wood shaft and I've got some counterbalance technology as well in the shaft. How does this whole, this whole thing work? Do you know what? I don't know and I don't care because every time I pick up one of their products, I seem to hit the ball so well. So this is yet another shock in many ways, but I suppose I've got familiar with this Zexio brand over the last month or two, a club that I've never ever hit in 30 odd years of playing golf, but I'm super impressed. I talk about the looks in most of the videos because they're quite unique in the way they look, don't forget. Japanese brand, it's a 15 degree head and it's a fixed head, there's no adjustability. And you're gonna pay a premium for this club as you do with all the Zexio range. From the UK market, it's 469 for a three wood and trust me, that is super, super premium. So you need to see super, super performance. Now I'm not sure we'll get that, but what we will we'll do is see something different. They say this experience the difference on all of their sort of strap lines. And I do genuinely believe there's something different going on. This active wing technology is all about squaring the club face up uh, as part of that uh, transition from the top of your swing into the impact position. No idea if it works, but there is some perhaps logic to suggest it would in the fact that I keep it in the ball fairly straight. The face seems hot, it's that rebound frame again, but you see that in Cleveland, you see it in Strixon as well. But the one thing that separates them is first of all, all their shafts are very much premium in their build quality, but then it is about their weight. And in general, they're super lightweight options that you don't normally see anywhere else. 39 grams in this, my current three wood shaft is 65 grams stiff. And the interesting thing is they do not feel unstable and that's the bit that has confused me with all the drivers and uh, fairway woods that I've tested so far is it's still a very stable shaft even though it is super light and I think that's what makes it very very unique there is that and coupled with the ball fight that this 15 degrees that is given that this could be a real interesting choice for a lot of average golfers if you insist and putting a three wood in the bag. And I say insistent because I still believe that a three wood is potentially lacking in flexibility in terms of putting in your bag. And that's the one negative comment that I would always leave on this kind of product review. And the fact that this has got no adjustability is also for me a real negative in a fairway wood because to give this a place in my bag, I'd wanna perhaps tweak it in terms of its loft and uh, not being able to do that, or well, to me, that's a real negative. 
We've got a real tight finish here at Kinsa de Val on the 18th. It's a raised tee position. Kind of encourages an easy swing, but there's not a lot of room to miss this one, neither left nor right. Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf, and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal, where I will be playing three different golf courses, Kinsa de Val, Quinta de Ria and Quinta de Cima. And I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort. The hotel is a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match. And this resort has an all-inclusive option. Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavera is just minutes away. Today's video is shot at Quinta de Val, which is quite simply a beautiful golf course in superb condition and a clubhouse perfect for post round drinks with a view. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencoregolf.com for some more booking information. Just turn a little bit more ball. Am I gonna miss the bunker? Well, the first bounce I did, oh yeah, we're well inside of them. It just does it super, super easy. And like I said in the video that I recorded for the driver, what it encourages you to do is swing easy. And that's that super lightweight shaft, that concentration on tempo again, a theme that I've mentioned in every video. Sorry to bore you with it, but it just really does mean that you concentrate on one thing and that's rhythm and timing and ultimately that leads generally to finding the middle of this club face so still for me the three wood the flexibility is the issue but i'm really reviewing this on the base of you're out there you want to put a three wood in your bag then i think you've got to look at this one because i think for me when i've ever used a three wood in the past it's about when i've been sort of less confident with driver and i still want to give the ball a bit of a hefty whack off the first tee which is where i've moved back to at kinsa de val fairly narrow as long as i can get a good bit of distance off this tee the three wood should be plenty enough and have i got more confidence confidence with this in hand than driver well there may be And the answer is, oh, well, to be honest with you, the answer is, oh my God, just how good is that? And it's just ripped like a bullet down the middle with very little effort whatsoever. You've got to go out and try Zexio product, I think is the best thing to do, because I've done a number of reviews and I've been really, really positive about it all. I think I must have covered the whole range. I think we've got a hybrid perhaps to look at, which I'm going to as well now. And we've also got their high end. When I say high end, this is expensive, but they go even more expensive. But what these things do are, uh, they just do it really well. And uh, as three woods go, that's as good as I've tried and tested. It is so, so good. Um, don't like the idea of uh, that kind of money, the fact there's no flexibility and uh, adjustability rather. Uh, a little bit negative towards that. Um, the overall looks, maybe not my thing on the eye, but in terms of performance, in terms of having confidence to hit it off the fairway or off the tee, it's just, it's super, super good. And that thing with the shafts that they do, um, whether again, I've said in previous videos, whether it's a mental thing or not, it's irrelevant because it definitely calms down the tempo, makes you concentrate on rhythm. And you just know that, look, if I keep this nice and smooth, the club head will do the rest. So their whole thing is about swinging slower, but still getting super fast ball speeds. Do I believe that? Well, it's worked really well out here today at Kinsa de Val. And uh, I'm left smiling. I'm gonna go out and have a little bit of a drink and uh, enjoy my lunch and come back out and do some more videos out here on the Algarve with Glencore Golf and uh, the sun is shining. What more can I ask for? Super, super club. I'll see you tomorrow night.